This is multiplying in base 12, and we're going to multiply 1, 2, base 12, times e base 12. 1, 2, base 12 is, remember, you can't pronounce this as 12. This is 1, 2, because these things mean different things. It doesn't mean a set of 10 and two singles. It means a set of 12 and two singles. So this is one set of 12 plus two singles. And this is zero sets of 12 plus 11 singles. So notice here, so to not get confused between the ones and the twos, And then we'll do this E stands for this 11. So we can actually stretch this out as to be 14. This is base 10 times 11. This is base 10, our world. So this is 14. So the answer is 154, base 10. So I can read it, 154. I can convert back. And go, okay, well, what is this in singles? And sets of 12. And if I have any more, then sets of 144. So I have to convert back. So, 100, so I actually have to start over here. I can't work this direction. How many sets of 144 or 154? Well, I can see that that's one, right? So, and then I'm left with 144 subtract. So I'm left with 10. Well, that's no sets of 12 and 10 singles. So this is one, zero, T base 12, and that's our answer. Do you want to multiply straight in base 12? Well, you could. The likelihood that you're going to be asked to do a problem of serious complexity where you can't just stretch this out and work this way is slim. So this is how I multiply in base 12. If you really want more examples and you want me to do it straight from here, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll make you a video just for you. Well, I'll post it for everybody, but I'll make it for you.